This is a quick demonstration of one of three new EMC vCenter plugins freely available, the EMC Storage Viewer. This uh, vCenter plugin adds the EMC Storage tab and the EMC Storage icon into the vCenter GUI. And these tools are there to uh, uh, help build the mapping between the VMware administrator's view of the world and the storage uh, administrator's view of the world. Um, for example, if we click on LUNS, you'll quickly see that it provides a view designed to be uh, a very high scale that uh, provides the information both in canonical naming format, which is the way that uh, VMware normally shows it, um, as well as detailed information about what type of array is being used. Uh, it uh, shows all the devices in the showing the device number, which means that the VMware administrator and the storage admin can quickly uh, correlate and speak the same language. And also, uh, provides information to the VMware administrator that they haven't been able to see before. So quickly, uh, these devices, how are they protected, are they replicated, um, all of those sorts of things. You can quickly and easily filter and find devices, um, as well uh, filter the view to show, for example, all of the LUNs uh, to the ESX cluster, and um, also uh, you know LUNs that, for example, aren't being used, so they can see how they're uh, set up uh, for future provisioning. Also notice on the far right that at a glance it quickly shows whether you've properly configured the number of paths and the right type of multipathing policy. You can customize this view. Um, again, it's designed for uh, environments of any scale uh, and any uh, type of EMC storage array. So uh, you can quickly filter um, and uh, anyone who's managed a very large scale uh, VMware environment knows that uh, the data store views traditionally are not designed to scale up to large views. So this is a, a welcome addition. The other thing that we've added is the ability to quickly find out whether your storage targets are configured according to best practices. If we click on this uh, uh, storage adapter and then we look at that uh, uh, configuration for the EMC targets, you'll notice that it shows whether you've got all of the right uh, FA port settings um, and, and the similar sort of details are shown for other EMC arrays. This is very important um, and it allows the VMware administrator to quickly make sure that the storage administrator has done the right thing to set up the environment to support their uh, VMware cluster. Now, if we uh, take a look at what's next, uh, this has uh, all been the uh, ESX view. Uh, let's see what happens when we click on a virtual machine. So selecting the Windows VM there on the left, and then going into the EMC storage tab, you'll see that it quickly shows you the VMDKs that are used by that VM, their mode, whether they're persistent or not, whether they're using the thin, eager, zeroed thick, um, or zeroed thick format, um, and also shows you immediately where is that being stored, is it being replicated, is it, uh, uh, what sort of RAID protection does that have, is it a thin device or is it a thick device, and is multipathing properly set up. Uh, traditionally, this has been very difficult uh, for VMware administrators to correlate. Now it's simple and easy and available here via this vCenter plugin. If we click on raw device mappings, you can see the same sort of detail here shown for RDMs. For example, here showing that this RDM is in physical mode, and you, again, you can see the uh, detail uh, configuration of, of the uh, storage device behind it. So this tool here is uh, one of three new uh, vCenter plugins. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, at EMC, our, our goal is to uh, uh, make lives easier for VMware administrators uh, using EMC storage. So uh, just feel free to download it from PowerLink, and thank you very much.